Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. As always, we appreciate you guys. On the table, we got Oreo today, and we've done Oreo many, many times, but uh, we can't stress enough how, the, you know, the spring months are just the busy season as far as matting and getting uh, dogs that really have, just haven't been groomed in months. It's just a question of buzzing dogs down. So the purpose of this video is we're really going to stress the importance of our 10 blade. Um, this is the same blade that we were using uh, in, in where we sharpened, we showed you our, our blade sharp in our past video, and it's still, it's still sharp, we're still using it, uh, but the purpose of this video is to show you how much you're gonna be using these 10 blades, guys. Uh, you need a series of 10 blades for this kind of work. Uh, this was the 10 blade that we showed uh, sharpening on in our last video. Uh, it's still sharp. We're using this guy. Uh, I have these two blades. These are two 10 blades too that I took apart because they need to be sharpened. Um, but whenever you are working with matted dogs, guys, you, you need more than one 10 blade. You, you need at least two, three. I have like five. I probably have 20 10 blades because they're such a versatile blade. And this is what we need. Uh, to deal with matted dogs and that's the purpose of this video again is to just show you uh, what and how we use our 10 blades. These guys are ready to be sharpened. See all that, all that pitting, all that rust right there. That's what causes a 10 blade to rust. This one, as you can see, is a little bit different than the others because this is a ceramic edge blade. And in future videos, we're gonna show you how we sharpen a ceramic blade. It's totally different from sharpening the, the regular guys, which is this right here, the stainless steel, okay? You never want a, to put a ceramic blade on the, uh, the sharpening wheel on the plate, okay? This is sharpened manually. You could still use, still put this one on the, on the wheel, but this ceramic thing, it's literally like glass, so it'll shatter once it heats up if you ever try to put it on the wheel. So it's a totally different sharpen and uh, we'll show you that in future videos. What we're gonna show you here is we're just gonna buzz her whole head down. We shaved her body down, but I wanted to show you what we're gonna do with the 10 blade. Uh, we're gonna be using a 10 blade and we're also gonna be using a number four uh, wall snap-on comb. Uh, this is a 30 blade on there uh, for that. Uh, but we're gonna just be taking her head real, real short. And the reason why we use these 10 blades, guys, is because they are the safest blade, okay? And I'm just gonna show you what we're gonna do. You can see all of this here, right? You see all that hair just connecting her eye. Uh, we're gonna try to buzz this out here and just get it out of the way for her so that we can free up her eye. So you see all that coming out of her eye? And again, we're using the 10 blade because it's the safest blade, guys. Don't use anything else here. You might want to use like a 15, but the 10 blade is going to be your safest blade. Okay, so I'm just going to go right for this big mat under her eye. We're just going to dip behind it and come forward and just clear it all out just like that. It's okay, there we go. So at least, you know, once we do that, it gives the dog a sense of relief, you know, almost like thank you so much. That's why I went ahead and did that one first, just to show her like, hey, Oreo, we're gonna clean you up. And um, they're, they're more likely to let you do the rest, even though Oreo's really, really good. So we're just gonna go ahead, continue. Big mat right here under the eye. Just gonna grab that real quick. And you can see that, just that gook, all that gook and you know, that big mat was just under her eye for a long period of time. Again, guys, 10 blades. This is all 10 blade. And I want you guys to get used to using 10 blades because it's a very, very important blade. And uh, it's the one blade that you're gonna use a lot, a lot for stuff like this, sanitary clips uh, and everything else. So already you can just see what you can do with your 10 blade instantly clear out the eyes. And uh, yeah, you can choose to do this all in the tub, but like we always stress, if, if you're confident enough and if you, um, rather than get her in the tub and be fussing with it, if you can get it out quickly and safely with your 10 blade, 
then it's better to do it like this. And that way, now when we do scrub her face, we can get in there better. If all that stuff is stuck in there and we're just scrubbing and scrubbing it, number one, they're going to get really tired of you fussing with it. And it's not going to come out as clean anyway. Although in some cases, you do have to do it in the tub. But in this case, boom, we just take it right out with the 10 blade uh, because she's letting us. And it's safe. If, if I felt like it wasn't safe, I wouldn't do it. But I felt confident and I felt like I can do it safely. And that's why we did it that way. It just saves a lot of, uh, a lot of unnecessary fussing around the eye. All right, we're going to continue here. So even with this inside the ear here, um, you want to be careful with this right here. You want to be really careful with that little piece of skin right there. Be care don't come across that, you'll nick them. But we're focusing just on here. So we're literally just taking that 10 blade and we're just going to cut all this hair out by the ear. Just like that. And I'm not pressing or putting any pressure. I'm finessing, I'm just kind of hovering it over and gliding it, you see, just like that. Well, we'll do the same thing on this ear, right here. Again, locate that flap, it's right there. When, and they're all different, all dogs are different. This one's really pronounced and you can see it. It's gonna come across, just take all that hair out. Just that much less hair you gotta deal with. Okay, so once that's done, we're gonna switch over to our four snap-on comb. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go, go to town and start clearing out all of this. Just take it all off because she's just a shave down anyway. She was completely matted. There's, there's no point in trying to brush this stuff out, especially because the owners want them shaved. So I'm just taking that snap-on comb, look, going right over. Be careful with that little, ch I think it's a ch Chilean or something, sty or whatever. Um, but I'm going to take the snap-on comb. I'm just going to come right down, right down the side of her face here. Do the same thing here. Take it right from here. Look at this. We're just buzzing her down, right down her ear here all with this with the four snap on comb see and then we're just going to lift her head and come right under her chin come right up right up take it all off we're doing all of this prior to the bath you can already see all the hair coming off of her see that She's gonna feel so much better, guys. It's okay, baby. It's okay, mama. Come here, sweetie. It's okay. And if you're wondering what kind of dog she is, she is a Shih Tzu Cocker Spaniel mix. Um, we used to groom her mom and um, we still groom her dad. Her dad was a Shih Tzu and her mom was a Cocker Spaniel. Good girl, Oreo. Good girl, sweetie. I'm even going to take the snap on comb and come right up on the inside of the ear. Okay? Just, I'm pressing up with my hand. Again, be careful with that. I'm using my left hand as just a back. Put a little pressure in the back. Same thing here, just come right up. And I guess what we're trying to show you here is everything you can do with just a 10 blade and a snap-on comb, okay? If it's a shave down, the, the great thing about a shave down is you don't have to worry about how it comes out. It's, it's, a, it's a shave down. 
soap. You're not really doing a whole lot of scissor work or anything like that. Um, so sometimes it's a little easier to shave down a dog, but not easier in the sense that um, it's easier. You still have to know what you're doing. It's just easier that you don't have to worry about like the fine details of scissoring a dog. So. There you go. There it is. So just everything you can do with just a, a 10 blade and snap on comb. We did all of that just by doing, using those two blades and you already got her face halfway done. Um, we're going to, you know, finish her up. We're going to put her in the tub. You know, I'm going to scissor up the ears and we're going to make it look nice anyway. We're going to cl clean it all up and everything. But again, the purpose of this video, guys, is 10 blades uh, and have your blades be real sharp. You have to sharpen your blades. You got to stay on top of your equipment uh, so that you can do this kind of work and clean these dogs up because this is necessary. Okay. If that stuff stays in there, it's just going to start infecting the eye. You can see what that's stuff is already doing to this left eye here you see it's all it's because all of the the bacteria and the the mucus buildup it's all hovering in that fur and it's making its way back into the eye you see where this one wasn't so bad and look how much more clear this eye is you see so by cleaning it out it's going to allow that eye to breathe again and it's going to we're going to wash away all of that that dirt and bacteria that's making its way back into the eye and causing all of this. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Really wanted to just demonstrate the versatile usage of the 10 blade and what you can do with just a simple 10 blade and a snap on comb. We hope you enjoyed it and we will see you in the next one.